Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our gospel will teach us about being humble. Hmm. Do you know that word? Do you know what it means to be humble? Well, being humble means the opposite of thinking we are perfect or saying how great we are. We'll hear more about this a little bit later. First, let's sing a song and learn some signs in American Sign Language. Do you remember how to sign God's name in American Sign Language? Just take your right hand, hold it up, and then pull it down like this. Good work. That's how we sign the word God. Let's also remember how to sign the word love. Make fists with both hands and cross them in front of your chest like this. Well done. We'll use these two signs in our gathering song, which is called, Come and Follow Me. Sing along with me. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Jesus called twelve apostles to come and follow him. He taught them to love the Father and turn away from sin. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world. And tell the good news They saw him forgive Heal the sick and teach the crowds Go and witness, he told them I send you now to go baptize Come and follow me See how God loves you Go into the world And tell the good news at his death and resurrection, the disciples were amazed. But the courage to proclaim him happened when the Holy Spirit came. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. We are now his disciples called to witness everywhere. Jesus Christ is our Savior. In his name we love and care. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Go into the world. And tell the good news. Well done, singing, boys and girls. Let's look at our coloring page this week. I see two girls in line to get ice cream. Yum. Let's see what this girl at the front of the line is saying. You can go first. Wow, that was very nice. She was letting her friend go first in line. And her friend is saying, thank you. You know, boys and girls, even if it wasn't a friend, it is always kind to be humble and not feel like you have to be first. This girl is showing God's love and being humble in her actions. Let's light a candle to show that we're ready to hear God's word. In today's first reading, the prophet Isaiah tells who God will need to help spread the news about his love. 
Let's listen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am coming to gather all nations and tongues. They shall come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them. From them I will send survivors to the nations. To Tarshish, Put, and Lud, Musok, Tubal, and Javan, to the distant coastlands that have never heard of me or have seen my glory. And they shall proclaim my glory among the nations. They shall bring all your brothers and sisters from all different countries as an offering to the Lord, on horses and in chariots, in carts, upon mules and camels, to Jerusalem, my holy mountain, says the Lord just as the Israelites bring their offering to the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Boys and girls, today we heard God's messenger, Isaiah, deliver a message to God's people, the Israelites. Did Isaiah tell them that God would gather people from all countries or only gather the Israelites from their country? Well, Isaiah said that God would gather people from all countries. This was a big surprise to the Israelites because those other countries were their enemies. The people from those countries didn't worship the one true God. And then Isaiah even said that some of them would become holy men and priests. Wow, were they surprised. But God's mind is so big that sometimes we can't understand what he's doing. And we know that God did make this happen. Jesus invited all of us to come and follow him. And his disciples spread the good news to many countries. Now people from all over the world know about God's love. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations, glorify Him. All you peoples, glorify Him. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness towards us. this psalm today. And it connects to our first reading too. We are supposed to go tell everyone in the world the good, the good, oh, wait, the good what? Can you help me boys and girls? Oh, did I hear you say the good news? Yes, that's it. And the good news is that Jesus suffered died and rose from the dead so that all of us can share in God's life. Let's go out and show with our actions how Jesus wants us to live. Boys and girls, how do you feel when a parent or a teacher tells you that you've done something the wrong way? Kind of embarrassed, right? Well, in today's second reading, the writer explains to us why we shouldn't feel embarrassed when we are corrected or told that we have done something wrong. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, 
you have forgotten that the scriptures say to God's children, when the Lord punishes you, don't make light of it. The Lord corrects the people he loves and disciplines those he calls his own. Be patient when you are being corrected. This is how the Lord treats his children. Don't all parents correct their children? It's never fun to be corrected. In fact, at the time, it is always painful. But if we learn to obey by being corrected, we will do the right thing and live in peace. The Word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Boys and girls, today we get some good advice. We shouldn't get discouraged when we do something wrong. Think of it this way. You couldn't get the basketball in the basketball hoop. But you just keep trying, right? Try not to feel too embarrassed when we find out we've done something wrong. Instead, we have a chance to be humble, to realize that we're not perfect, and to try to be better. God will stand by us like a kind and loving parent, ready to guide us back on the path of holiness. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We come to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word. In today's gospel, Jesus explains who will have seats at the heavenly feast. And guess what? They won't be the people who think they are perfect and who think they always do everything right. Let's listen. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And we say together, Glory to you, O Lord. Make a little cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart. As Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, he taught the people in the towns and villages. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? Jesus answered, Do all that you can to go in by the narrow door. A lot of people will try to get in, but will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and locks the door, you will be left standing outside. You will knock on the door and say, Sir, open the door for us. But the owner will answer, I don't know a thing about you. Then you will start saying, we have dined with you and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I really don't know who you are. Get away from me, all of you evil people. Then, when you have been thrown outside, you will weep and cry and grit your teeth because you will see Abraham and Isaac and all the prophets in God's kingdom. People will come from all directions and sit down to feast in God's kingdom. There, the ones who are now least important will be the most important, and those who are now most important will be least important. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. By telling us about who will be invited to the heavenly banquet table, 
Jesus was teaching us about being humble. Remember that being humble means that we don't act like we know everything and we don't act like we do everything right. It's important to have a humble heart if we want to go to heaven, boys and girls. Humble people know that they're not any more important than anyone else. So they don't mind when other people get special favors or have good luck. Humble people know that they're not perfect. They know they will make mistakes. Humble people don't get upset when their parents or teachers or the little voice in their conscience points out that they were wrong. People who are humble always look for ways to do better and to be better. There's always room to grow and to learn. My friend Julia is going to help us play the humble game today. Hi, Julia. Hi, Miss Heidi. Okay, Julia, I want you to listen to what I say and decide if this is something a humble person would think or say. If it is something a humble person would say or think, then say humble. If not, say not humble. Okay, I'm ready to play. Go ahead, tell me the first one. Okay, and boys and girls, you can go ahead and play along with Julia too. All right, here we go. This place is mine. I got here first. Oops, Um, I think I said that to my little brother the other day. That is not humble. You're right. That's not a humble thing to say. In fact, Jesus even pointed out in the gospel today that the ones who were first would be last in God's kingdom. So it's not important to be first. Okay, good job. Here's the next one. Here, you take the bigger piece of cake. I'll take the smaller one. Oh, that one is easy. Humble. Correct again. Offering a bigger piece of cake to someone else is a big sacrifice, too. Let's keep going, Julia. I don't know why Mom is making such a big deal over nothing. That is definitely not humble. You're right. That's not humble because we're supposed to listen when our parents point something out to us. Okay, last one. I hate it when people get in my way. Another saying that is not humble. Yep. Humble people try to remember that they're not any more important than other people. That's hard to remember sometimes, isn't it? Well, thanks so much, Julia, for helping us out today. Sure, Miss Heidi. I had fun. Bye. Boys and girls, it's important that you and I are humble too. Jesus gave us a beautiful example of what it means to be humble. So if we ever don't know what to do, think about what Jesus would do. Let's say, Jesus, help me to be humble. Your turn. Jesus, help me to be humble. Well done. Now we get to sing a song to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. Your part will be, yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, 
I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. I believe. I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. Let us pray that all God's children will learn to obey God and do right, so that they might live in peace. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of the church will serve the people of God with humility and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations will try to know and do God's will when making decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here today will one day sit at the heavenly banquet. We pray. To the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to respect every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our now it's our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, through your Son, Jesus, you taught us that it's important to be humble. May his example inspire us always to seek what is right and to do what is good. This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. This ends today's children's liturgy, boys and girls. But don't worry. There's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Be Humble coloring page. Thank you for sending in your beautiful artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of this week or next week's episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. New from 23rd Publications. Miss Heidi helps introduce mass parts from five popular mass settings with short call and response instructional videos. This video playlist is a resource from As Without End We Acclaim First Communion Program. Order your copy of As Without End We Acclaim for parents or catechists at BayardFaithResources.com. Get 15% off with promo code Miss Heidi. 23rd Publishing presents how to Tell Sacred Stories to Young Children by Miss Heidi. Order your copy of this helpful booklet today at BayardFaithResources.com. To order Children Celebrate Children's Liturgy Leader's Guide or Leaflets, The Living with Christ Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, Flom Gospel Weeklies, 
or John Berlin's religious music, visit BayardFaithResources.com. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's word with me today. Stay well. God bless you. And remember that Jesus loves you. Lord, bless me on this day. Guide me in your way. Calm my mind to be, let my eyes now see, surround me, surround me, surround me with your love. When I wander far from you. I don't know what to do Be with me, oh Lord Lord, bless me on this day Guide me in your way Calm my mind to be Let my eyes now see Surround Let my eyes now see Surround